Guy pulled right out in front of me. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, if not, welcome to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel where we talk about motorcycles and specifically Honda Goldwings, how to DIY tips and product reviews, installation videos, just all kinds of cool stuff. If you like that kind of stuff, we'd appreciate it if you click the little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube should notify you when I come out with new videos, which I try to do a couple of times a week. So this is my 60th motovlog. And today I just got a couple of things I want to catch up on and tell you about. For those of you who have purchased my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance video series, you should have received a notification that a new video has been added to your library and that is the video on how to remove and reinstall your front wheel. A lot of people have been asking for that video for some time and uh, it's not like I hadn't planned to do it. It's just I needed to get some uh, legal stuff out of the way before I released it because it does require the use of a jack and you know just a little additional warnings and things I needed to put into the video for you but I think you're gonna find the video helpful for those of you that change your own tires or maybe you just uh, remove the wheels and take them into your dealer to have the tires changed you can save quite a bit of money by doing that we already have a video in the series on how to remove the rear wheel and um, 50 other videos that show you how to remove body parts and not from you but from the bike and how to remove how to replace I should say how to replace your air filter and oil changes and filter changes and just all kinds of cool stuff that I figure will save you about a thousand dollars a year in dealer labor charges if you do all the things that Honda recommends for maintaining your motorcycle. So anyway, check out that video series. It supports this channel. Uh, the income that I get from those videos helps to offset the cost of producing these videos. And I also have a Amazon store where I've selected quite a few uh, motovlog items, tools for working on your bike, uh, various products that are specific to motorcycling that I've used or tested and that I recommend. And if you make a purchase through my Amazon store, it doesn't cost you any more money, but Amazon gives me a few pennies on each sale and it Again, it's just something to kind of help support the channel, which is much appreciated. I uh, just put out a video this morning on the center pocket door for the 2018-2019 Goldwing. As you know, the latch mechanism for that door, if you own one of these bikes, you know, the latch mechanism is really kind of poorly designed, I would say and it's uh, a little clunky to operate sometimes you 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 have to press the button on the on the right hand side of the button just to get it to open well i uh, had seen a video recently from max McAllister, a little hack that he put together on how to uh, mitigate that latch mechanism issue so I decided to kind of review Max's video and his hack and see if it really does what he says it'll do. I'm going to open up my vent here because it's starting to get kind of warm. So watch that video on the center pocket door latch. I, I decided to try it on my 2018 Goldwing 
and um, you have to watch the video to see if it worked or not. You can also check out Max's channel too over at Traction Dynamics. He's got some interesting things. I'm actually on my way to lunch uh, to meet a friend for lunch, so I thought this would be a good time to check in with you and update you on some stuff. The last video I did, I was testing out my new GoPro Hero 7 Black, and I'm still doing some testing with that. Uh, I did some tests yesterday and today with the camera mounted on the luggage rack or the trunk rack. And I did a couple of different tests at different heights using different extenders and things and using different settings on the GoPro. Just trying to kind of figure out which settings look best. I'm, the next one I'm going to try is having the uh, GoPro kind of sticking out to the side. And we'll see how that works. I've already tested it up here on the handlebar and I like it. I think that looks pretty good, which is kind of facing back at me. But I want to try out a couple of other options. Uh, because I'm planning on using that GoPro Hero 7 on the uh, Nashville trip when I go to Wingding to capture uh, quite a bit of video. Now I'm not using it right now because I don't have a way to do the audio from my microphone to the Hero 7 Black. The Hero 7 Black requires the use of this rather large and uh, clunky mic adapter that plugs into the GoPro and then you have to plug a microphone into that and it's just not a very elegant solution and I don't have that mic adapter yet so I, I'm still using my GoPro Hero 4 Silver uh, for my helmet cam which is what you're seeing right now but hopefully before too long I'll be able to get a good audio setup on that Hero 7 Black because I do think the video coming out of that new camera is much better than the Hero 4. The stabilization on that GoPro Hero 7 is pretty amazing. They have this new feature called Hyper Smooth, and it really, really has some great stabilization. So we should be getting better quality videos in the future with the use of that camera. You know, it's Friday morning about 11 o'clock in the morning and it's amazing to me I, I still never get used to the fact of how much traffic there is in the Dallas Fort Worth area I mean at 11 o'clock in the morning look at all these cars and I always ask myself what do these people do for a living do they work or is everybody off is everybody retired you know, where is everybody going? What are they doing? It just blows my mind because it just seems like there's more traffic than ever before on a weekday at 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't think everybody's going to lunch this early like I am. Now, if you have a GoPro connected to your motorcycle or your helmet and you do motor vlogs, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be anxious to... Guy pulled right out in front of me. Wasn't even looking. Doesn't even know I was there. Just pulled right on over. And this is what it's like driving in Dallas-Fort Worth. And he waved at me like he was doing me a favor. So I don't usually honk at people. I used to usually kind of ignore it because... We're in Texas, so you never know if you honk at somebody, they'll pull over and pull out a gun and blow your head off. But I saw him coming over, so I slowed down and just let him over. And you know, that kind of reminds me of a safety video I've been wanting to do or want to talk about a safety issue, and that is the temperament that you have to have when you ride a motorcycle. You just don't have the luxury when you're on two wheels, you don't have the luxury of being able to get angry or upset when people do what that guy just did. You just have to kind of, uh, you have to kind of expect it. 
and then just kind of deal with it as it comes but you don't have you can't start you know shooting the finger at people or ranting and raving or anything like that because number one it's not going to do you any good number two it's probably going to piss them off and like i say here at least here with road rage the way it is you never know what they're going to do but we'll talk about that more in the future i'm just now pulling into in and out burger which is where we're meeting for lunch and if you like in and out burger put that in the comments down below Maybe I'll stick a little poll up on this video to see how many of you guys like In-N-Out Burger. So anyway, time for lunch. And we'll see you guys on the next Cruise Man's Motovlog.